right, guys. <clears throat> I've got a problem. I've got the Yagyu Shinobi problems cropped up again. So I bought this book, which was relatively quite expensive. So this is the um, Remarkable History of the Yagyu Clan by William William de Lang, de Lange, de Long. Uh, depends on the uh, the French, I suppose. And it wasn't cheap to be fair. It was about thirty five pounds hardback, and I got it. And I'm really interested in doing a bit of background research on the Yagyu. And I opened it up and it was like Yagyu Shinobi, page 30. I was like, really? You know, Yagyu Shinobi. Now, I've tried to contact the author and I can't get hold of him. And if anybody out there knows who he is or has contact with him, can you please contact him and send him this video? Because he could answer some important questions. So it... Page 30, it talks about Shinobi, like on the 1st day of January, 1544. Yagyu Castle was brimming with activity, blah, blah, blah. Um, that evening, so 1544, that evening, Ieyoshi had convened a council with the headman of his Shinobi. Really? You know, we've not been able to track the word Shinobi back beyond, um, at the most, 16, uh, 1560 to um, the Shinobi Hiden. Yes, we have the uh, Taiheiki, but this as, you know, as a group of Shinobi, a Shinobi Mono, you know, in the Taiheiki, it just says Shinobi go in. But this definitely seems like a captain of a Shinobi. The Shinobi, there's a group of them and all that. And he talks about them and I'm like, where has he got Sengoku period documents that say in as early as 1544, the term shinobi is used not only that there's clearly an organized force of shinobi being used in the mid 16th century which is like gold dust in shinobi um thingy now it does hit a problem because i don't know where he's got his information from it says unlike regular warriors who had just one or two weapons of choice shinobi used a large range of weapons including the shuriken makabishi um the Kama Sickle, the Shinobi Gatana. Uh, okay, it starts getting a bit cringy here. Um, carrying the Shinobi on the back, Kasuri Gamma. It's clearly outdated Shinobi information, you know. Eh, but, you know, that, that one section might be taken. He's, I assume he's done it, sorry, from Japanese works. So that one section might be taken from a 60s book in Japan, which we're way beyond that now. We're way beyond that. Uh, but he keeps referring to this shinobi headman of the, the gathered at the castle. And in 1534-5 even, you know, this guy was talking to this guy. Um, and it talked about the different types of shinobi. And I'm like, there's one of two possibilities here. Either he's got this from some modern Japanese source, but who have not sort of like said where their source is from, which in which case it makes it redundant. Or he's got a document that he's not quoted, I don't think so, that mentions Shinobi and would literally revolutionise the Shinobi community. So can somebody please get hold of um, William? I've actually contacted him in his website and no answer. So it annoys me those contact forms, you send them and you've no idea if it's been sent. I've done it on multiple sites and you never get an answer from them. So, um, uh, so what do we think, guys? It's... If he's got the primary medieval sources to use Shinobi, that say Shinobi were existing in 1544, then that's awesome. But the Shinobi history he seems to have in this is really old and redundant and actually wrong now because we, we know. It's not that he, it's not his fault, I suppose, in the fact that we've done a lot of research. And if you're not up to date with all our research that we're doing, guys, then you're going to be behind. But Shinobi Gata and Kasuri Gamma, we, we're way past all that now. They're, they're not ninja tools. That was a, clearly a 1960s fad um, from Japan. Uh, a pop fad, anime, you know, that type of thing. Um, so... I'm, I'm at a bit of a problem. Either the Shinobi bit's amazing and I can carry on, he's got a couple of things wrong just because he's tried to explain what Shinobi are, or does it make the entire book dubious and that the history is like just pop history from the 1960s with Yagyu being ninjas and everything. And so I started to get a bit, I'm a bit confused. So if somebody can get in contact with William and help, because I would love to sort of go through this book. I hope it's excellent. You know, I've not read it yet. I just went straight to the Shinobi bit. Now, the reason I think Shinobi and Yagyu are often put together 
and honestly i've asked before has anybody got a shred of evidence for it and nobody has not yet anyway but i think it's because the yagyu i think muninori is it he's the ometsuke i can't remember exactly one of them is an inspector and this is difficult on how you use the terms so the term metsuke or ometsuke or whatever doesn't necessarily imply shinobi it might imply spying kanja kancho local spies uh, you know sorry spies in that sense but it doesn't necessarily imply shinobi which in the sengoku period from my research were definitely military operatives in the um in the army i still am now convinced that on the whole kanja and shinobi no mono are interchangeable as of about 1600 onwards and maybe even a bit earlier um, probably because of the unification of japan i genuinely think that before that the shinobi were a different thing they were um one thing and kanja was another but then they start to get moved the problem is if we're trying to go backwards into history without the documents to try and put that together but i can see a, a sort of like convergence like that you know if you track the documents backwards you seem to get this idea that um sorry backwards you seem to get this idea that they were separating but the closer you get to 16 17 1800 kanja and shinobi mixed together and just become one term and not only that the cur and you can ask Stephen nojiri about this the term for ninja is interchangeable maybe on different ones not only not only that the word ninja might not even be a real thing before a certain point because it might have independent points for everybody who does something like those who crouch in the bushes those who wear black leggings those who do this you know twisted agents you know they might be the individual words so it could be as time goes on we get less and less words and more and more until we get a crescendo into shinobi no mono and even kanja is by the wayside so there we go guys somebody grab hold of william for me let me know um tell him his um form's not working on his website uh, but beyond that let me know what you think of the yagyu and the theories and where they are connected to shinobi because the i have never found it yet not yet but people book after book shinobi <laughs>